Discover the exquisite beauty of Islam with our exclusive poster collection showcasing the 99 names of Allah. Each poster meticulously presents the Arabic name, pronunciation and English translation, embodying the essence of our Creator. Elevate your surroundings with these high-quality designs that not only serve as art, but also offer a glimpse into the profound beauty of Islamic culture. Immerse yourself in the collection and unveil the magnificence of the 99 names. Links in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, since I started doing Islamic reaction videos, you always wanted me to react to this particular video. The name is Christians are trying to recite the Bible like the Quran. The reason why I never reacted to it in the first place was because I'm afraid of the cringe. But nevertheless, after postponing it for a year, today is finally the day where we will react to it. Before we start, guys, as always, if you enjoy my content, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support my work. And now, I'm already afraid of this video. With no further ado, let's have a look. My name is Amy Trebaltoy, and I'm about to do something crazy. Introducing you through the Bible. And I want kids to get excited. Ah, cringe I want them to come down each day and go, what's today's verse going to be that's going to be sung on this channel? That was tough. That was tough already, man. We're going to introduce verse one. I'm going to sing through it, and then they're going to sing around it. And this is this is. I think one of the best ways to study the Bible to get the spirit to to, uh, to cultivate the spirit of prophecy. You so think, yeah? I'll actually okay. introduce it, and then you guys can just like instruments. <laughs> I told you it was crazy. You're absolutely right. God created human beings in His own image. Ah. Oh. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. What was that, Britney Spears? Oh, no. And they're going to want to read the Bible every day with their family. Stop it. I want stop kids it, woman, to be able to memorize scripture. When I think back, I was okay, a okay. Stop, when stop. I was a The cringe is way too much for my brain, man. This is way too hard to watch. And this is really what happens once you remove the church from Christianity. Guys, you know I'm from an Orthodox Christian background. And what Christians nowadays, so-called Christians, do not understand is that those Orthodox Christian church fathers created the Bible. They basically gathered all the scripts and canonized the Bible. So therefore, the Bible is not a magical book that just popped down from heaven and now people can simply read into it whatever they want. No, it comes with church tradition that you can find within the Orthodox Christian Church. And therefore, if there is a need for quote-unquote music, then in the Orthodox Church you have liturgy. This is what the Orthodox Christians call the Holy Liturgy. This is what they are reciting. They're not reciting the Bible like Britney Spears. This is, of course, all an innovation and has nothing to do with original Christianity. But this is why Christianity in the West is so extremely removed. I personally, as I said, come from an Orthodox Christian background, so I'm not going to make the claim that Orthodox Christianity is the truth. Absolutely not. I accepted Islam, alhamdulillah. I'm very happy with my choice. However, if you must be a Christian, then please look into the Christian history, into the church history, and you will find out that the initial, original Christianity, church Christianity, was the Orthodox Church. And since you started the schism and removing everything traditional from Christianity, you come up with all kinds of replacements. This is why when you go into a Protestant church, quote-unquote, you see an absolute soulless gathering that is always singing. My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick, my crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's because Jesus Christ is my it's always extremely cringy because they removed all tradition from their practice. 
And now, let's proceed. And, I mean, I memorized hundreds and hundreds of verses. I don't remember most of those. But the verses <laughs> that I remember, they're the ones that I knew songs to. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. إن الذين يتلون كتاب الله وأقاموا الصلاة وأقاموا الصلاة وأنفقوا مما رزقناهم سرا وعلانية يرجون تجارة لن تبور ليوفيهم أجورهم ويزيدهم من فضله إنه غفور شكور والذي أوحينا إليك من الكتاب هو الحق مصدقا لما بين يديه إن الله بعباده لخبير بصير. الله في مبارك. Beautiful voice. Alright, this is it for today's video. Thank God, man, for the Quranic recitation. In the end, it actually healed me from the cringe in the beginning of the video. As I said, original Christians, the Orthodox Christians, have their own liturgy. The Christian Bible, however, is not meant for liturgy. They have their own hymns that they recite. The Bible is somewhat of a historical text intermixed with revelation. It is not meant for liturgy as the Quran is, because the Quran appeared as liturgy. And therefore you see so many misguided quote-unquote Christians in the West. They simply have no tradition, as I said. And now they're taking the Bible and they're making pop songs out of it. This is what you see in the Hillsong Church as well. People with electronic guitars acting like pop stars and what not. So therefore we have to be absolutely fair here and compare apples to apples and not apples to oranges. Orthodox Christian liturgy can be absolutely beautiful, absolutely uplifting and deeply spiritual as well. I'm sure that most Orthodox and even Catholic Christians would agree with me here. They're definitely not claiming those Christians <laughs> that you just saw in the beginning of this video. Anyways, guys, this is it for today. Absolutely amazing video to react to. I really do not regret postponing it for so long. If you enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support. And now, as always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. Uh.